Welcome Gemini, this is your weekly energy reading for the 23rd through to the 29th of October. So it is a general reading, take from it what resonates, leave what does not. We do have eclipse energy happening this week on the 28th, so those energies can be a little bit fractious whenever we have eclipse energy, so just be mindful of that, yeah. Now before we dive in there, you still have an opportunity to get into the competition this month and win the angel reading cards, beautiful deck. Uh, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, pop a comment down below. You want to win this deck, you go into the draw. There's also a 45-minute pre-recorded personal reading with me up for grabs. I'll be looking for a very positive community member. Also, just let me know in the comments down below you want to win that prize. I will just say, Eileen Brown, if you are listening, you did win the personal reading last month, still to be claimed. Make sure to get in touch if that is you. Um, details are down below on how to do that. Let's dive in. So we're going to pull you a central energy from the beautiful heart and soul oracle. Now, my personal readings are open if you feel like you need a personal reading. Uh, they're a mix of tarot guidance, spiritual guidance, transformational coaching. I meditate on your energy, your Akashic record, which is your past life information, and answer the most burning questions. So I'll put the booking link on here and down below if you want to get in touch for a personal reading. Have a look at this one. There's a lot of light going off, but um, certainly the, the sea's quite rough here. Where it says, help is on its way. The raging sea will soon abate. And a great light will heal your heart. It's a time of deep and profound and positive transformation. But courage, strength and patience is required. You are supported by a sea of love. So um, a lot of support around you, no matter what's going on with your life right now. All right, we're going to do past, present, future predictions with the Angel Wisdom Tarot. First up, let's have a look at the situation. Well, you've got the magician. So everything you need within you to create the life you want to create. It can represent the resources you need, the right opportunities coming your way, you being the director and actor in your own life. So whatever choices you make, whatever actions you take, yeah, um, is going to guide your path. All right, let's have a look at the challenge. Okay, you've got the eight of fire. So this is a lot of busyness going on, Gemini. A lot of things coming towards you. It can be unexpected opportunities. It can be some obstacles in your path, uh, things you're going to need to think of on your feet. For some, it can represent travel, business travel. All right, let's have a look at the basis of the situation. Okay, you've got the king of fire. So... He's very confident, uh, some of you stepping into more of a leadership role in your life, whether that's in your career or just taking charge of your life. Uh, for some of you, it can represent stepping into the spotlight, public speaking, the message you want to share with the world. Very confident energy. All right, let's have a look at the recent past. All right, you got two here. So in the recent past, you've got the page of water, which is an offer of love. So offering your cup to someone, your cup overflowing, whether you're in your current, already in a relationship or this represents a new relationship, wanting to offer your cup. Uh, there's a lot of happiness there. There's a dolphin jumping out of the water. And you've also had victory. So in the recent past, victory possibly over challenges, uh, something you were going through possibly, awards, promotions coming your way. All right, let's have a look at the present. Mm, wow, super interesting. So in the present position, you've got two here. You've got that ego as well as holding yourself stuck or feeling stuck, uh, which means that you need to shift your energy to move you out of any stuck states because you're holding yourself stuck. Any guidance on that? Well, you've got a time of celebration, so the four of fire. Kind of interesting. So if there's some sort of invitation to something, you're saying, no, I can't go. Spirit's saying, um, Take the blinkers off and work out how you can go. Mm -hmm. It can also represent a lot of peace and prosperity coming into your life um, or a celebration with family. There's a beautiful home in the background. Uh, I've got to say that for some of you, if it is a blessing coming in, it's not going to come to you until you release the stuck energy going on here. Because we always, whatever we vibrate, we attract to us. So just watch your energy. Let's have a look at the near future. You've got the seven of earth, so uh, tending to your garden, which can be certainly around your finances, your life path, your career, uh, 
putting in the hard work. Let's have a look at your energy in the situation. Okay, you've got the nine of fire. A need to stand up for yourself. There's a lot coming towards you. Never giving up. Yeah, protecting your goals, your dreams. Any guidance on that? We got the six of earth. So for some of you, there's going to be some unexpected money coming in, possibly a windfall of abundance. If it is, it's not going to be huge, right? It's going to be able to help you pay off any debts or ease your way at this particular time. Let's have a look at the energies of those around you. You've got the king of cups. There's a very loyal, trustworthy partner here. Guys, this can represent your energy. He's waiting for his ships to come in. Um, mm -hmm. And you've got the two of earth, so you're absolutely juggling a lot, Gemini. Coins and clocks. So there's, I mean, it's just basically indicating that you're going to have a very busy week. Uh, there's a lot on your plate right now. So somehow you're going to have to create some sort of balance, yeah. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears. Okay, you've got the night of air. So some information coming in really fast. It can be quite challenging. It can be something where you've got to think on your feet respond to really quickly mm. and you got the high priestess here so going within being in your higher states of consciousness making the right choices for self but taking that moment for quiet reflection All right, let's have a look at the outcome oh you got the ace of cups so this is certainly a new love offer either you wanting to extend your cup Looking for new love, some of you. An offer coming in. Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull you some clarifiers with the news tarot. Firstly, let's have a look at the centre here where you got the magician and lots of things coming in towards you. <clears throat> you got the muse of voices, which is the king in this deck, which is acting with an integrity in accordance with your own values, so doing what's right for you. So there may be opportunities coming towards you that don't align with your path that you really don't want to do. Be honest about it, yeah? Uh, let's have a look at you being really confident, stepping into a leadership role. Oh, you've got the chariot. So being unstoppable, moving yourself forward, um, some really great energy behind you to go after your goals and dreams at this time. Well, right, let's have a look at the present where there's a feeling of being stuck and a bit of a celebration going on. Oh, you've got the tenor voices. Some of you feel like you've gone through some sort of experience that has you feel like you've been stabbed in the back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, darlings, you're really overthinking it, whatever it was. So I'm not sure if it's something major or minor, but if it was minor, some sort of slight, somebody who didn't treat you very well, whatever it is, you've taken it to heart. You need to let it go. Because mm -hmm. you've got the five of inspiration, which is watching how you treat others on your path. Lest you fall down a rabbit hole. So that means responding, not reacting to negative energies. Any other guidance there, particularly if it's related to family, and that's what's holding you back from going to something. Oh, darling, you've got the five of voices. So extending the olive branch to someone. So if they've upset you, they're going to reach out and try and apologise. Perhaps they're having an off day said something inappropriate it can be you having to extend the olive branch to someone so that you can all get on mm -hmm. all right let's have a look at the futures position which is you tending to your garden Put in the hard work mm. you're gonna have a tower moment in the near future why is there a tower moment here oh it's about you speaking your truth the queen of voices Okay. All right, a couple of messages channeling through. If this is related to work, some of you have been doing too much than what your job requires. So either you've been put under too much pressure or been asked of too much, right, and you need to create balance in your life and you need to be honest about that. Uh-huh. For others, I mean, this is sitting in the future position. So there may come a moment where whatever went down here at the time to smooth things over, you may not be able to speak your full truth about whatever happened to you. That really, dare I say, upset you. To be able to do something with family or friends that 
is going to smooth the waters, but in the near future, you're going to actually speak your truth, right? And whatever your truth is, no matter whether people want to hear it or not, uh, it's going to help them. So it may help them reflect on how they've shown up, yeah? All right, let's have a look at your energy, which is feeling like you need to defend yourself a bit. Um, and a little windfall of abundance coming in. You've got the emperor energy. So there's so much here about you charging forward, having the energy to really chase your goals, your dreams. All right, let's have a look at this loyal, trustworthy love here and you juggling a lot, <laughs> a lot on your plate. Oh, you got the lovers. So... If, you, if this person's not in your life right now, neither of you can see each other, but your energies are drawing the two of you together. Mm -hmm. And it's also confirmation. It's a soulmate connection. All right, let's have a look at your hopes and fears where there's something rushing in really fast and you're taking your time with it, going within. Okay, wow. All right, so whatever's coming in is a choice that you're going to need to make. So it can be an offer, I'm going to say and related to career and finances or something that you're going to take on that's going to require more of your time and energy. So you've really got to think on it because you've got the 10 of inspiration, which is you've only got one jug and you have lots and lots of options here, but you can't fill all those jugs or those cups because you're going to exhaust yourself. So you've got to get, get really clear about what's worth your time and your energy because it's come out with death and rebirth. It's a pivotal moment. It's either going to make or break you. So if you say yes to things that you really don't have the time or energy to do, it's going to come back on you in the future in terms of you're either going to have a, a dare I say, go through some sort of experience where you have a physical issue, health around your health or a mental, emotional issue, or you're going to tax your resources in some way, particularly finances. Any guidance on that? Mm, you have to be in this watery energy, so you need to create more balance in your life, Jen and I. You have to do things that do not drain your energy, that keep you in balance. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look at this love here, which is sitting in your outcome position. Mm. Again, you got the high priestess. Come out twice. There's a need for you to go within, seek your spiritual guidance, because there's some sleepless nights going on. Why the sleepless nights, Sam? Okay, so you've got the six of materials. Some of you are worrying that whatever you put your time and effort into, it's not going to come back to you. So that's about making wise choices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you also have to be mindful if there's new love coming into your life, it needs to be balanced so that you're not giving too much when you don't have as much to give because you've got a really busy time right now. Uh, whoever it is, they need to understand that you're going through a really busy time. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle. Mm, there's a need for you to heighten your vitality, your energy levels. Just to help you cope with all the busyness of life right now, let's have a look at this situation up here where you're going to have to smooth the waters over or accept someone's apology. Oh, you've got to clear out the old. So you've got to clear resentments out from whatever this is and let it go, Spirit's saying. If you want to smooth things over, you've got to let go of the resentment and the hurt, which is not going to be a big ask, darlings, but Spirit's asking for you to do it. Let's have a look at the future position where there's a, a tower moment. Mm -hmm. You're speaking your truth. Oh, you've got adventure here. So... There's possibly something coming up where you've got the opportunity to travel and there's some aspect of that where you're going to have to speak your truth about it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, let's have a look at you juggling a lot and you've got this beautiful new love coming in or enhanced love. Oh, you've got to face some inner truth, particularly about what's important to you and where you can put your time and energy, which is mostly what's showing through. Mm. And it's a time of expansion. For some of you, you're definitely going to travel. Mm -hmm. You're going to do it together, though, because there's two hands holding each other in the foreground. All right, let's pull you a message from your angels. 
or you've got achievement, it says take a little time to reflect on what you've achieved to date. It's often easy to forget where you started from and how far you've come. Honour and be grateful for this extraordinary journey that is your life. And I think it's kind of particularly relevant, Gemini, because it looks like you've been doing a lot of hard work and you keep striving towards your goals, but you're not looking at how far you've come. Yeah. You keep feeling like there's so much more for you to do before you get to where you want to be, but you're not recognising all the things you have been doing and all the growth you've had. All right, let's pull your crowning energy from the Blue Angel Oracle. There's two, that one hiding behind the other, and I'm going to pull them both out, right? So the one that was hiding behind the main message is the I am angel of manifestation, which is about abundance. So, and there's a beautiful owl there, which represents seeing the truth of things. Um, he's also holding a heart. So there's a focus on you having that beautiful positive affirmations of manifesting and attracting your abundance versus chasing it because whenever we chase something, it runs further in the other direction. So to be in natural flow, enjoy the journey. Don't put too much pressure on yourself for material outcomes. Just allow things to flow. And this is really exciting, darlings. <laughs> you got wings of light. There's positive news coming in. Beautiful wings there with lots of hearts. Let's pull you other guidance. There's Gemini. A positive result or joyful message arrives and brightens your day. Once you receive it, you may want to pause for a moment to reflect on the people and things that matter most to you. Thank the universe for these gifts of love. Friends, family, community, country, world, universe is it not all important is it not all a blessing and there's a poem here that says the universe is inside you for you are the luminous essence from which all stems let us give thanks for this eternal blessing and great mystery so there's some very positive news coming your way mm -hmm. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below and how this reading resonated with you. Now, do join us for the lives that happen every Friday, which in my world is Perth time in Western Australia, 10 a.m., which on the east coast of like Sydney, it'll be 1 p.m. in the afternoon. If you're in the U.S., it'll be the day before, so it'll be your Thursday, usually from about 5 p.m. onwards. Yeah, So just check world time, buddy, for when it's happening in your time zone. Uh, this week that we've just had, I did the Power of Crystals, uh, which everybody, we got a lot out of it, yeah. And we're quite, it went for quite a bit of a time, nearly an hour, um, but there was so much to cover. And this week I'm going to do one on reading your own tarot. So if you want to join in on that, do. Now, if you can't make it, you can also watch the replays, which you can find on the live tab on my YouTube channel at the top. You can also just check out the inspirational playlist, and they'll all go in there, yeah. Um, before you go, do check out your star sign, coffee mug, journal, task planner, all designed by moi. Uh, they're very beautiful. So if you want to spoil yourself or buy a gift for someone, you can find all the designs in my Elysium Gallery website. You can also find some link to this video as well as on my YouTube shop. All right, take it easy, my loves, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste. Namaste.